I was going to bring the camera to do some video, but we rushed out of the house because you were mad at me. Why were you mad at me? We had no coffee. How did she expect me to leave the house without coffee? There was no coffee in the house. Have I rectified the situation? What do you got? Oh, apparently so. Jeez, you're already like, um, like, you sucked down quite a bit of that slightly, already. Slightly, slightly rectified the situation. We'll yeah. See. All right. We're currently at the Goodwill bins. Uh, I did lay down the challenge that we were going to go five days in a row. So today's Tuesday, the first day. We were going to go tomorrow. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll see if we can make it through the whole thing. What do you think? I think I'm going to tap out before that. You think so? Well, I am going to keep up on it. And uh, the lame thing is that the bins, we can't film inside or we're going to get kicked out. So uh, I don't you know how exciting. Get out. I don't know how exciting this video is. We will also show some highlights when we get out. Um, but we're going to save stuff for Sunday so that we can do a haul and see what, what all we were able to get. Um, but right now we're just sitting here drinking. Looking at this long line of people. Look at all these people waiting. But we're, we don't want to... None, none of that nonsense. None of that nonsense. Alright, let's get ready to go in. Let's Whoa! Uh, Las us, Vegas uh, been celebrity sighting! You know, you know, something white, but... <laughs> hey everybody, it's Jesse from yesterday's events. What? Howdy. Holy crap. This is a big haul. Yeah. Where are you uh, parked at? All right, so we're doing, Vicky and I are doing the five day challenge, five days in a row at the, in a row right. at the bins, but you're doing like almost seven days I'm on days like a week 90 days in a row right now. <laughs> but, like you've gotten like yeah. way back into thrifting yeah. and, and stuff in the last few months. Mm -hmm. Since and, November, uh, yeah. That's crazy. And he's been finding some crazy stuff. Today, he pulled something nuts out of the bins. This place is jam packed full of t-shirt bros and you will not believe what he found. Hold on, let me let me come around the other way. All right, what is this? 1995 nine inch nails, front and back print, single stitch, got the nine inch nails hit on the sleeve as well. Right like this was just like sitting on top. Yeah, so basically I saw this dude move a stack of stuff out of the way and then it was just boom, right there. Yep. I, I even waited for a second because I thought he was grabbing it and then he didn't, he went the other way. So I was like, all right, that's all mine. But well, it's on the all sport tag. It's yeah. got, it's got the, the copyright on it, single stitch, really nice even fade. What is this gonna sell for? Uh, last sale online was 275. So I'll probably put it in store for like 350 in case anybody wants to come do trades. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, as long as I can get 200 bucks or something for that, but that pays for everything. Everything today was $58. So. $58 and you got all that stuff. There's a yeah. lot of plush in there. You've been jumping into the plush game. Yeah. Teaming up with Carrie from American Arbitrage on whatnot. You've been doing some stuff with Sunny and Mikey yeah. Bags of Money. I was trying to show you something else, but I don't think I got anything else that was too crazy today. What have you got? Like you've been coming every day. The last few days, what are some oh, of the things you've gotten? Yesterday, which by the time you guys are seeing this, uh, I'll have a full video recap on it, but uh, two pairs of 1985 Jordan 1s. So the very first print run of of the Air Jordan. Um, they're both youth size, but you know, I'll probably make 700 bucks off of those. They cost me 95 cents each. So not too bad with those, but um, I've been making four or $500 a week off of plush toys and then the stuff that I'm finding. And that's there. just on whatnot, right? That's just on whatnot. And that's not including stuff like this. And that's so, not even like, you're not doing crazy prices. Like you're buying them here for what? Maybe a dollar. If that. If that. And what do you, you're selling them on whatnot. How many, well, how much are you selling them for? Everything starts at $2. So, you know, whatever it gets bid up to, that's a different story. But everything we're starting at $2. And a lot of the stuff does sell for two to five, but you know, every once in a while we get stuff that sells 15, 20, 25 bucks. So. Yeah. So we're not even talking like crazy numbers. Like no. it's not all about finding a uh, a bunch of nine inch nails vintage t-shirts right <laughs> like you're just doing the grind Whoa! that's vegas for you no you're just doing the grind yeah. and but it's fun and you're making money and it's it it's you know well and that's like even like i said most of these plush like if i can equal the 58 dollars that i spent then that's cool you know what i'm saying then stuff like this is free and i can keep this and sit on this as long as i want to so it, it makes it well worth the two hours that I'm here. If I want to buy that t-shirt right here in the parking lot, how much you selling it for? Uh, 150 bucks. What? <laughs> but that's only going to last till right now. All right. I'll All think right. about it. I'll All think right. about it. All right. All right. Later, guys. Oh, it's another Goodwill celebrity sighting. What? All right. I see a cart full of stuff. What is happening over here? We're not going to show too much. Cause you gotta wait till Sunday to see the see what's really going on. But guys, what's happening here? What's going on? 
What's happening? What is this? A little juicy. You loving that juicy? Did you find anything super exciting today? I did. I found this was a throwback that someone threw back. This is Burton. Nice. This is uh, Burton Analog, which is their higher end. Oh boy. Right in the flight path here. Very cool. Burton Analog snowboarding jacket. All right, without showing us anything, uh, what are your highest ROIs in here, would you say? Probably this one item right here. What will you sell that for? Two, three hundred. Oh, okay. And then you had a few other things that were at least like $75 items. Yep. So. And I said 65 Nice. All right, day one of five days in a row at the bins. It is 9.51, so we survived a little over an hour and a half in there. Um, I think you definitely found a lot of really good stuff to flip, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well worth your while. I spent like $20. How much did you spend again? $65. I spent like $20. Almost all like sweatshirts, a lot of sweatshirts and hoodies, mids. I did find one really cool vintage 90s sweatshirt uh, that I will show you on Sunday. I'm not going to show it now. And the real question is, did I or didn't I do a Goodwill Bins parking lot deal with Jesse? You're going to have to find out on Sunday what went down in the parking lot of Las Vegas. Okay, everybody's had their breakfast. It's time for us to go find some good stuff at the bins on day two. Ripley, what do you think? <laughs> what's going on? We're stuck in stupid traffic. That's what's going on. Yeah, how do you feel about that? It annoys the crap out of me. We're gonna miss the doors opening. How many rants have you been on so far this morning? At least 77. How do you feel about people right now? I hate all the peoples. How do you feel about people asking you what size address is? Listen, people. When the title says small, the description says small, the item specifics say small, and all of the small measurements are listed in the description. When you send me a message, what size is this dress? I'm gonna be mad at you. How mad? Real mad. Are you planning to get kicked out of the bins today? I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> but they're rude. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we're never gonna get it. We've been at this like intersection for about five years, so it should be, uh, we should get there, oh, roughly about two hours from now. Bit of a bust today, huh? Day two is a little weak sauce. Yeah. You know if I don't fill a cart, it's weak. I've literally got zero here, so we're actually going to go check out uh, the regular Goodwill on the way home, and then what are we going to do? I'm going to get a donut. You think that'll make you feel better? Yes. Is Donuts it... make everything better. Okay, you said going to get a donut. Are you telling me you're only going to get one? Maybe two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, is there anything here that you're going to show on Sunday? Uh, nope. Probably okay. not. So show us what you got. So, nothing special. I mean, I got some... New with tags, J. Jill, summery type of tunic. Um, this vintage dress, this 70s dress, kind of a no-name, but it's just like a basic 60s, 70s. Polyester dress, an Ariat button-up. filthy. Is it? Isn't it? Oh, like yeah, it. well, I can wash that. Let's just ring around the collar. Yeah. And then this is probably the nicest thing I found, but it's even that's not great. It's kind of jumped the shark, but this is Robert Graham. Uh, it just, I only grabbed it because it's a short sleeve and it has a really cool bright pattern. But that's it. Not a lot. You got some Yoda shoes. I did. Those, I don't know if they It took me value. forever to figure out. She was like, they're Yoda. And I'm like, but what, how are they Yoda? Because he's just hanging out right there. Yep. And I got some vintage, like, 60s kind of plush that I think I can just like do a big lot of. A lot of people like older plush. Yeah. They're not really worth selling individually probably. Yeah. That's All it. Right. Let's go check out Goodwill. Maybe they got something better going on at the regular store. I don't know. All right. We're going to go in here. We're going to see if we can find something in like 15 minutes. You said no. You said you didn't want to come. Let's see if we can make you... This <laughs> you never know. Active duty service members, pathways yeah. to Korea's Yoink. 
transportation and other Whistler boarding in Canada. Three ninety nine. I'll take it. You find it anything? Not really. What do you got? If you are a two things. Well, you found me this. The basic vintage 70s. And this Goodwill's team of veteran I don't know, the pattern's pretty sweet. I like the pattern. I'm debating this one because it's going to be a pain to ship, but it's a brass dust lamp. It's 60s, 70s, and it has, you know, a G clef. It's quite the I know, cord there. It weighs about 20 pounds. And I got a bunch of t shirts. Nothing incredible. But. Good enough. Confused Should we go get donuts? Alright, going into Coco's Donuts. How do you feel about that? Best donut shop in Las Vegas, by far. I don't know about that. Better than Randy's. Better Here's than the thing. Box. Here's the thing. Better than Krispy Kreme. I'm all about basically the Boston cream, which is the, the donut that's got the Bavarian cream inside. But I want it with the maple on top. They only make it with the chocolate. But they have donuts with maple. They just won't put the maple on the Boston cream. What's up with that? Can't find it in Vegas. What's up with that? You okay? I don't know. I wouldn't eat it. I don't like maple. That's ridiculous. Who doesn't like maple on their donuts? Lots of people. Hence the not high demand for what you want. That's only because they don't have it. So they don't know what they're missing out on. Just saying. Wait, hold on a second. You said you wanted one donut, maybe two, and what'd you just say? I said we may as well do a dozen. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. What do we have here for, do you have any of the, what is this one? This it looks like s'mores. Chocolate and marshmallow. All right, we'll have two of those. Mm. Huh. You feel better now? I might. How many of those are you going to eat when we get home? Two or three. <laughs> All right, we got our donuts. I'm calling it. Got to go home and ship. And hopefully tomorrow morning we'll have a little better luck at the bins. Are you gonna Yesterday go? was a good day. Are you going to go tomorrow morning? Yeah, I suppose. Think you can do the third day? Mm, I suppose. We'll see. Look at her over there smiling at herself while she's texting. She loves texting. <laughs> You're a dork. <laughs> All right, we are on day three. At the bins, they're just now going to open up the doors here in a second. Uh, we only have one hour today, though. We got to see what we can do in one hour. It's eight o'clock. We got till nine. I have to go to a meeting at eleven a.m. with our lawyers. I'm going to be doing some volunteer work with them. I'm very excited. I'll fill you in more on that later. Uh, this one over here is not excited about only having an hour, but who knows? Maybe we'll find the magic in an hour or less. What do you think? We'll see. We'll see. Let's go. Okay. How'd we do? Anything exciting? No. Yes, no? No. I mean, I didn't really get to look everything up. That, not that I look everything up, but some things I do. What are you going to do with that? I'm a little scared. I'm going to use it for protection if it's not worth anything. <laughs> but some of these Easton bats are worth it. All right. That's a lot. We were very rudely interrupted by the alarm on that truck that just kept going and going and going and going. How much did you spend? 30 something, 36. I spent 15. Jesse was in there. He found like five or six box sets for what's that? What's the Korean band, pop band? BTS. BTS? I thought you bought those. No, Jesse oh, found them. I thought you bought them. Is that why you were saying that I found the good stuff? Mm -hmm. I was like, she go, she, she's like, today it was a total waste. You found good stuff. You found good stuff. You get all the gifts. Really? But no, it was Jesse. Uh, they're like these really cool collector. I don't know what they're worth, but people are crazy about that, that band. That K-pop band. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know anything about them. We'll see. Other than that, they're K-pop. That's all I know. We'll see. All right, let's get on with our day. Day three, done. We got two more to go. Are you gonna make it? I might. You might. You'll know. Mm -hmm. All right. I got a sunshine beard. Let's look at that. It's very attractive. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're on day four. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're doing it. Day four. We got one more. Hey, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a sweatshirt that you found for me here yesterday. It was like brandy new. Is it a sweatshirt or it. a long sleeve t-shirt? It's a sweatshirt. Okay. It's a thin sweatshirt. I washed it, guys. Yeah. You know I saw me. it and I was like, 
Vicky would wear that. Mm -hmm. you and were she correct. said yes. Yes, I would. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna find everything today? I'm gonna try. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna try. It's been kind of weak the last two days, so it has been. We need We need a win today. We yep. need a real win. Yep. All right. Let's get in there. All right. Day four. I got some shit. You got some shit. How'd it go? Day four was a good day. We yeah. got a lot of stuff today. Oh, I got some really good stuff. I actually found a vintage t-shirt, man. Look at that. A little vintage t-shirt. 80s. Just I got saying. some decent vintage. Yeah. It was a good day. Yep. And we got to see friends. Yeah. Adrian was here. Woohoo. Well, we're on day five mm -hmm. of going to the bins every day. Uh, it is 7.54, and someone in this car, I'm not naming any names, but has already been on a tear this morning. On a tear. I don't know how many F-bombs have been dropped. Okay, we've got some tales to tell. Tales of terror. Tales of buyer abuse. Tales of very dangerous driving. Not on our part. Uh, some road rage on someone's part. Not me. <laughs> so uh, we, we, this is what happens when you get me up at 6 30 in the morning five days in a row <laughs> apparently the fifth day breaks me all right so here's the deal guys and maybe some of you have experienced this before uh but when you ship out your stuff um whether you drop it off or or somebody picks it up if they scan it it'll show that it's been picked up that it's been like given to i don't know what exactly it says but picked up um, received by the post office, whatever. Occasionally, there will be a mistake and it'll get scanned as delivered. I don't know if you've ever had this happen where something, you know, you ship it out and then all of a sudden it says it's been delivered to you. Um, and it's really just a scanning issue. Uh, so they that don't happened. toggle the scanner properly. Yeah, so. That's all. Right. So we shipped out some stuff yesterday. We have an amazing mail lady. She picks up our stuff. She scans it. She's awesome. Put it outside. Uh, well, Vicky had shipped something. What? You had Poshmark and Mercari and eBay. Mm -hmm. But Mercari, when something gets marked delivered, you get like a notification, right? Mm -hmm. So that happened to you. And what happened? So I went and checked and I went and I saw that that was what had happened. But the problem is that I wanted to make sure that my Macari buyers and my Poshmark buyers, because it gives them an immediate notification that they were, they knew that it was just a mistake and go ahead and uh, don't worry about it. It's being, the tracking will update later on tonight, yeah. you know, when they receive it at the regional branch, blah, 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 blah. Well, and what happens with Poshmark? Cause I don't do Poshmark. Poshmark, uh, the first, this has never happened to me with Poshmark before, but, um, it said something like they're opening up a request because the item is being returned to you. And I just wanted to make sure that it didn't get canceled. No. Right. So I contacted Poshmark support, contacted yeah. uh, the customers and didn't hear anything back from the customers. I'm assuming they saw the message went, Oh, okay. No big deal. But of course, because Vicky is Vicky, it was crisis mode. Things had to be done about this. Mm -hmm. And luckily, you know, we have a really good relationship with our mail lady. So I just picked up my phone. I texted her. I was like, hey, are you working today? Because, you know, sometimes a lot of times when stuff goes awry, it's because of a sub because she's pretty amazing. So I texted her. I was just like, hey, uh, are you working today? Because our stuff got scanned as delivered. And I just want to see if we can get them rescanned so that we don't have any of our buyers freak out, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. She's like, you know, my mistake. I, I, I forgot to switch it over to pick up instead of delivered. So obviously she's not delivering packages. So she immediately rescans them, takes care of it for us. And so it's all good, right? And if you look at like the tracking, like if you look at eBay or whatever, it'll show like timestamp, it shows delivered. And then like 15, 25 minutes later, it shows, uh, it shows picked up. So it's like, whatever, no big deal, right? Um, so then you heard from a customer. Now, listen, there's certain things you can say and certain things you can't say. You're allowed to say douche nozzle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it. Let's keep the f bombs. We'll keep it PG thirteen. Let's keep it PG thirteen. All right. So what what happened? What, what? Um, I wasn't actually going to, to cuss, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, message, I wasn't sure if you could control yourself. I got a message last night at about ten o'clock at night from a customer who's straight out of the bat. They've got like three feedbacks again. I don't usually disparage low feedback buyers, but in this case, it's warranted. Uh, send me a message right out of the bat, calling me a piece of shit scammer liar blah 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 i uh, demanding all in caps want my money back right away not a question not a hey what's happened not a oh my goodness what's is there am i seeing something wrong this was not delivered not a, nothing like that just straight out of the bait bar you know call it i'm gonna get your account taken down blah 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 okay sparky first of all back up <laughs> 
So of course, they don't even tell me why. It's just blasting me. And I had to guess that it was because they saw the tracking show delivered. Yeah. Even though it hadn't been delivered because it was still... Which again, if you actually look at the tracking, it shows... All they had to do was click on the actual tracking yeah. and it actually showed it continuing on in the process mm -hmm. being, you know, accepted at the regional facility, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, whatever. So I reply back, uh, first of all, I don't know who you think you're talking to because I don't sit for that shit. I don't think they did know who they were talking to. No, I don't think they had a clue, but now they do. Uh, and that, you know, obviously... This is what happens. Calm your jets. Well, I believe you used the word troglodyte. I used the word troglodyte earlier today. So then um, I, I assume it's done, whatever. And then I, I basically said, do not contact me again. You are not welcome to purchase from me again. I don't know who you think you are, but I don't. nobody talks to me like that. Um, it's true. And then this morning, they opened up a request, a request for an item not received for an item that was shipped yesterday, 12 hours after they purchased it. So... So I respond to the request, which by the way, shows delivered. So if it's just looked at by a bot, that's just gonna close the request right. and that person's gonna be screwed regardless. But they're not being screwed. I, I sent yeah. the item. They're gonna actually get the item. So. There's a line here. We got interrupted by the doors opening in the ensuing mayhem, but then this happened. I'm pretty sure I have three things in there. Maybe. So it's what'd you do? What'd you do? I found some good stuff today. Let me tell you, I was pulling stuff for you like crazy. Yeah, there was some good stuff. I mean, there was one entire rotation where it was just all the overpicked tag yeah. Goodwill stuff, and we neither one of us got anything out of that. Like 20 bins of crap. But mm -hmm. the other stuff's pretty good. I mean, got some vintage Mickey stocking holder. I mean, it's yeah. not going to make me a million dollars, but probably 30. But you do have one thing in there that's like, we're we're, we're going to save that for tomorrow. Yes. But the best thing that you found um, that's in there is pretty cool to the point where somebody was even coming up and asking you how much you were going to sell it for. Yep. And you were like, mm, 200. That's mine. That's yours. Hands off my mediocre crap. But nice. the nice thing is, well, first of all, it was like really, really busy in there. But the nice thing is that for that's once, crazy. whoever the crew was that was in there, they were turning things over super fast like they were doing actually doing a pretty good job because they can be real slow here but have you heard anything else from your pen pal at ebay no no nothing else i think you got the hint mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll see maybe i did have one ebay buyer who reached out to me and was like hey what's the deal it says delivered but i just bought it today and it got it's supposed to be shipped out and i explained to him what happened and you know what he said he said okay Okay, thanks, that makes sense. Thanks for the quick response. <laughs> he did not threaten to shut down. Shut down my, shut down my account and take away my livelihood. Anyway, all right, so this is it. I'm gonna go home and edit this and uh, get this up today, Saturday, so that you guys can see it before we do our show tomorrow. How's that sound? Pretty, Pretty good. good. You gonna Pretty make good. me get you coffee now? Yes. All right, I, I suppose. All right.